So I'm having a hard time getting this alternator to fit. So I was able to uh, get a bracket off of my old uh, AC unit that I wasn't using, so I don't mind if I sacrifice it. <clears throat> and then I'm just uh, building the bracket by scratch right here. So I'm going to end up uh, cutting all this away, but basically... The way I see it is uh, you can just make some cuts and then bend it to wherever you want. So it's pretty much right in line. Got to go in a little bit. And then uh, since it's a funny angle, I'm just going to put uh, one piece more metal up there. And that should be it. So we'll see how it all looks. All right, well, I got that all welded up. So now I'm just going to cut it and add one piece and see if it fits. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. <clears throat> it looks pretty good. Super beefy. I could take it down a little bit, but I think it looks fine. And then this one, I'm this one's actually the weak side now. I might actually put some metal in here just to stiffen it up, but I don't really need to. So the only thing I need to do now is uh, I had to cut that one. So, see the... The Magnum has a different uh, bolt. This bolt sticks away out on the um, LA. That one's like inside or at another spot or something like that. Something's different because uh, now I need a bigger uh, belt. But um, yeah, this is the nicest setup I've had for an alternator on a Mopar ever. I think before all I had was like I put a bolt through and I had just like a single one like this and it was real you know shitty so uh this is like actually pretty nice Okay, so they look good enough. I'm just gonna paint them. And then I'm gonna use some appliance black, which is actually some pretty good stuff. Okay, so that's how that ended up. That looks pretty good. Somebody gave me a new uh, a new style alternator, which is good. It's probably from the 80s or something like that. And uh, just going through everything, getting everything ready. And it shouldn't be too long, so we'll see how long it takes. All right.